Good. Oh, it's 5 to 12. So good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, we made it to the end of another week in lockdown, kind of lockdown. I'm not too sure what is going on in the UK at the moment. Yeah, another week working from home, um, social distancing, all that jazz. But it's also, what is happening with these curtains? Sorry, I'll sit still. Um, it's also the first week that the golf clubs have reopened and my husband has just gone to the golf club. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of happy to have the house back to myself and the dogs and to be able to film and not feel like you can hear me because it's kind of not off-putting, but I get really aware that he's taking a lot of calls and a lot of video calls. Um, and the last thing he needs, oh, and the last thing he needs is me chattering on. And what are you? Okay, this is where she wants to be. Look at this botched job of a room. You were very matted, weren't you? So we had to take matters into our own hands. What are you doing? Are you happy now? Are you happy? Is that where you wanted to sit? Why are you tired? You're cosy there, and then we've got number two here. He looks more like a Dalmatian, don't you? <laughs> hey? Good boy. Um, so yeah, we've got the house to ourselves, haven't we? And what are we gonna do? I wanted to film something. Right, I'm gonna do outfits. I'm gonna do outfits? I'm gonna do outfits. Oh, there's a lot. <sighs> a lot of washing. Oh, I need to put my yoga mat away as well. So first things first, I think I'm gonna have to Oh God, why do I do it? I'm gonna have to sort my dressing room out if I'm gonna do this, or should I just move the mirror? Do... Yes, let's just move the mirror. Should have a different setup? Cause I can't be bothered to clean yet. Look how long my hair is by the way. Oh my God. And it's okay. But these curls are not dropping out, they normally drop out. It's a very, it's very happy hair at the moment. I um, odoplexed last night and then, oh, what did I purchase? Where is it? Oh, I've been loving it. Oh, it's down here. Oh, so I purchased this from, is it Key? Uh, Finishing Cream and I'm obsessed. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I started using it when I do my ponytail just to smooth off um, my baby hairs and that's working really well. And yeah, it's just great when I curl my hair as well. Also great because it protects from heat styling as well. And yeah, it just smooths off your ends. Gives fine, medium hair that lived in look and that's exactly what my hair is. It's kind of fine, but there's lots of it. So yeah, really, really loving this. If anyone is looking for a new hair product that does all those things, uh, this is fantastic. So I will link that down below. But let me set you up i think i'm going to use this corner or that corner a corner in this room because it's bigger and the light's better yeah okay i'll try on some outfits for you right okay first of all i hope this setup's okay it's gone quite gray today it's not too dark but it's not as sunny as it was so i'm doing this in our bedroom you can't even see my mouth properly so i'm just doing this in my bedroom um by the bedroom windows because the light's nice. Um, am I happy with the background? I'm just gonna tweak the background slightly so it's a little bit more pleasing. Okay, I think that's better. All I've done is just take the dressing gown off the uh, the back of the door and then just pop this little plant there. So it's a bit more interesting because I can't do anything about the big <laughs> off TV that's on the wall. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you some of the pieces that I've had delivered this week. Um, yeah, a couple are gifted and um, I'll put those, or I'll mention what they are anyway. But this particular top is, so I'm gonna do tops first, just so you know, it's a bit of an order. 
Um, so this top is from Topshop and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised because some of their bits I've been a bit disappointed with recently, quality wise. Um, but this price wise is fantastic and the amount of detail. So it's kind of like a prairie inspired top, really pretty with the puff sleeve. Now that is a puff sleeve, that's beautiful. It's a really lovely cotton fabric, not too thick. Um, it's got great structure that sleeve has. Really pretty sheared sleeves. And the kind of like bodicey top bit is also sheared. Really lovely pleating detail on the square neck, which is also repeated. Hopefully the back, it has got a little tie detail there, which I'm not crazy about, but I don't mind it. Um, I guess it just keeps the structure of the top in place, which I, I think that's kind of probably what you're going to get with High Street. Um, they have to kind of put details like that in just to make the shape better. Sorry, I keep playing, playing with my hair because I've just washed it. And I'm, you'd think I would be used to the length because it's been growing now for a couple of years, but it just feels like it suddenly got really long. Um, I love it. I'm really, really happy with it. And I've also kind of got used to styling it now and curling it. Uh, but anyway, this top. So I've gone for a size 10, which is the perfect fit. Fits really nicely. It looks really sweet with jeans. Um, you probably put it up a cute little skirt, little denim shorts, but I just think it's lovely. Really, really sweet top. Really impressed top shop. I love it. It's a good black. It is true black. That's number one. Next, I have, um, I think I, I shared this in my last video, but I just wanted you to see it on again as it is new in. Love it so much. Uh, this was very kindly gifted from Saint and Sophia, um, who I did the All Black Everything edit with. Uh, so this is one of their new spring summer pieces. Beautiful black cami with this lace detail, which is repeated on the back, which hopefully I can get in a cutaway. Um, it's this beautiful fabric, gorgeous length. It's it's just perfect. I, I honestly absolutely adore it. I can't wait to wear it out um, when we go for a date night or for dinner and drinks. Yeah, it's just really easy wearing. Um, I've just got it on with jeans. Uh, so yeah, I really, really love it. So I just wanted to feature this again because it is just so pretty. And like I said in the um, in the other video, it has that kind of extra little layer of fabric just on the bust area, which is great if you, well, I've got a strapless bra on now and that's perfect. Uh, but if you didn't want to wear a bra, but yeah, it's just that lovely floaty, silky fabric. Look at that gorgeous material. Yep, this is another new piece that uh, I can't wait to wear out and about. I think it looked cute tucked in actually. Yeah, it's just got that lovely sheen to it. Really easy wearing piece, definitely kind of a, a staple piece for summer, but I'd also wear this in winter, like underneath, maybe like underneath a knit or um, like a nice chunky cardigan, more like autumn maybe. But yeah, it looks great with leather, under a blazer would look really beautiful. So yeah, definitely one of my uh, favourite pieces at the moment. Just quickly popped my hair up uh, for this top because it's um, quite a high neck. I'm totally torn with this top. I had, um, this is from Zara, and I had one really similar last year, um, asymmetric off the shoulder, but it was um, kind of like that diagonal cut. This is not as casual as I was expecting. It's definitely kind of more of a night out top. Um, material's exactly the same as the top I had from last year, which is really nice. It's got a bit of a stretch to it, um, but it kind of feels like cotton. So it's quite an unusual mix. It's got a zip uh, down the side here, which I'm not gonna lie. Isn't it easiest to do on your own? There's another zip here along your kind of neck, shoulder, collarbone area. Um, the fit's lovely. This is a small. Um, I wouldn't go any bigger because of this. I didn't realise it again, it, it drops really low. 
probably could do with maybe a little bit of tip tape. Probably not with my boobs, but bear that in mind. It is, how can I show you this? It is very low. It is very low on the side. But I really love, I really love the look of it. I just don't know how practical it is in my wardrobe. Um, I couldn't really just wear it to the office. I'll show you the back actually, because there's like a whole lot going on in the back. I've left the label on because like I said, I'm not totally sure. I love the detail, I love the top. I just don't know if I'm gonna wear it. I think my husband will like this top though. And maybe, I mean, it wasn't very expensive. What was it, 30 pounds? 30 pounds. And it's it's quite quite an unusual top. Um, so for 30 pounds, you're kind of getting a slightly different design maybe. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like this top and if you think I should keep it. I've got another top from Zara that I will show you now. So this is another top from Zara and I love this. I just think it's so cute. It's a um, little kind of like halter neck, not halter neck, what is this called? Um, I can't think. Let me check on the website. No. They say it's a halter neck too. I thought halter neck's kind of like tied around your neck. Anyway, it's a halter neck crop with really cute little, can you see this? Little ruched side tie detail. That's on both sides. It's very 90s. I really, really like it. And then on the back, it has a button keyhole. You see? So yeah, I just think this is really cute. It's cropped, but at the moment, like kind of showing that lower rib kind of section so yeah and then the jeans are the black version of the asos slouchy mom jean however i really like them and i'm keeping them up and wearing them a lot they're not as slouchy or as kind of soft the denim is totally different to the blue ones where are my blue ones uh, to these ones these even just to pick them up like that they, they're just really kind of a softer denim. I think it's the black dye that makes these almost a, a bit kind of, well, you can see, look at that, that they feel totally different and therefore they sit totally different. Um, they're exactly the same sizing, but yeah, they're definitely not, they're nowhere near as slouchy as the blue ones. But if I'd gone any bigger, they wouldn't fit my waist. They're already kind of quite spacious up there anyway. So yeah, a little bit disappointed. So I love the fit of these, which is why I then went for the, the black. But I would definitely wear this top with these as well. So that's fine. Just um, kind of a comparison of the blue slouchy mom jeans versus the black. It's definitely, they feel different, very different. But yeah, really like this outfit. I would just chuck on a pair of slides. Slides? Sliders? Flip tops, <laughs> whatever. Um, and yeah, that'd be that'd be me ready to go wherever. But it's like a little. If I mention the fabric, it's kind of that silky, very thin, nice, easy breezy top. And they do it in multiple colours as well. So yeah, I will link that down below. Uh, so yeah, that is that all of my tops. That's all of my new tops. So we've got Zara, Topshop and St. and Sophia. What do we have next? A couple of dresses. Both I love. So I'm going to show you those. So I still got the labels on this just because it's only just arrived. Um, I actually shared this. Oh, I'm falling over. Um, I actually shared this on my Instagram stories yesterday. And you guys, well... Those guys, you guys, um, absolutely loved it. So many of you have gone and uh, either ordered it or just gone and had a little nosy at it. So, uh, yeah, thank you because it means it looks nice on. <laughs> but, yeah, I absolutely love this. And I didn't, again, very pleasantly surprised by Topshop with this one. The fit, the cut, the detailing. So let's just start with all that. So it's a linen dress. Uh, so it's beautiful for summer. I really can't wait to wear this on a holiday if we get to go on holiday this year um, or just to a barbecue or yeah, just drinks in someone's garden. Yeah, I just really, 
I feel really good in it. And I think if a dress makes you feel really good, then Topshop, you've done your job really well. Um, so yeah, it's black linen. It's got beautiful puff sleeve. I think we're seeing this puff sleeve trend everywhere. And normally I avoid trends, but I think this is just so pretty. It's got a beautiful neckline on it. The puff sleeves, I can't really see those kind of going out of style for a while. Um, and they've just, they've done it very tastefully. It's not too in your face trend, if that makes sense. Um, it's got this lovely little tie detail, which it doesn't need, like it doesn't need to pull you in at the waist. The cut is so good. It's such a lovely fitting dress to say that this hasn't been taken in. I've obviously still got the labels on. Um, so this, I just like that it just kind of softens it a bit, just makes it even more feminine um, and gives it just a little bit more detail. The buttons are covered, which, oh my God, I don't like buttons. Like I'm just, I just don't like, I don't like seeing them. I don't like kind of big gold buttons. It's just personal taste. So these, because they're covered, and they're black, so they're not even just black plastic. They're covered linen buttons. Beautiful. What a lovely touch. Makes me very, very happy. Oh, I'm so happy with my tummy. I haven't had lunch yet, I'm a bit hungry. Um, but yeah, I just think that's such a gorgeous detail. This was under £40. Uh, I think it's got 10% off at the moment. That might have gone by the time you watch this video. But again, I'll link it down below. I'm just so happy with this. I just think it's beautiful. It's a lovely mid-length, very flattering shape. The neckline, the cut. You can see the kind of like seam panel detailing. Well done, Topshop. 10 points. Lovely sleeve detail. That's going to pick up the pleats. That's where they put those in. Yep. Yeah. Big, big fan, kind of extra bit of fabric. So if you're like sat down, you're not going to see skin through it. Again, that's a pet hate of mine. I hate that. Uh, so they've thought about that. So they've kind of extended. You've got a nice, whatever that's called. That runs all the way down the dress. Um, like a sweetheart neckline and the back's just kind of squared off. Really nice. Fits on the back, lovely. Fits on your bum, lovely. It's plenty of room. This is a 10. Um, my biggest part's my bum and hips and it fits me great there. There's no, like I say, I could sit down in this and feel comfy. So yeah, I'm really, really thrilled with this. So we'll link that down below. But yeah, there you go. That's, a, that's dress number one. And I have another dress. I feel a bit dishevelled after trying to get this on. It's the high neck. Um, if you've come over from my Instagram, you'll already have seen this dress. I wore it for our date night, our at-home date night um, on Wednesday. This was 19 99 from Zara for a beautiful, it's kind of like a fine knit on top. And then this gorgeous kind of satiny, I think it's a bit of a bias cut. I have just seen a stain on it because I did wear it for date night and I'm pretty sure I spilled dinner down me and it needs a good iron so yeah please don't judge it on how wrinkled it is but it has this really lovely kind of seam that runs diagonally across the front yeah it's for 20 pounds it's bloody brilliant very comfy little dress I know a lot of you love this dress in fact um it was a follower that had sent it to me thank you so much because I bought it straight away and it did not disappoint. Fits really lovely. Kind of low enough on, oh, low enough on the armpit so you're not going to get all, because if you're going to wear it in the summer, you don't want to get all sweaty and sticky. So yeah, nice bit of ventilation. Um, it's got a nice high neck. So maybe on a really warm day, it's not going to be that ideal in summer. But this is, it's, it isn't a, it's quite a fine knit. It's not that fine that it's see-through. And then, uh, yeah, you've got a nice little seam detail there, and then it goes into this other fabric. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm just going to tie my hair up quickly, actually. Okay, wow, that's uh, quite a wild ponytail. <laughs> What's going on with that? <laughs> it's because it's girly. Okay, excuse me, I just thought you could see the neck a bit better um, if, I, if my hair's tied up. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's dress number two. This time from Zara. And this time, 
under twenty pounds because it's nineteen ninety nine, so it's under twenty pounds. Yeah, let me know what you think in the uh, in the comments down below. Which is your favourite uh, piece from my new in? I should just sit down here and say goodbye. Oh my gosh, I did a run this morning, and uh, I'm a bit tight in the old glutes. So yeah, that's my new in wardrobe pieces. I think that's it. And then you saw a couple of pieces in my last video from Saint and Sophia in the mirror. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little sneaky video while the husband is playing golf. Any wives or girlfriends of golfers had to put up with their husbands swinging golf clubs and hitting golf balls around the house for the past seven weeks. We've had a couple of casualties. There's one uh, broken lampshade in the spare bedroom. He told me he hit his head on it and that's why it smashed. And I believed him for a while until I saw the golf club propped up against his uh, dresser. But yeah, anyway, he's uh, he's gone to do that and I've been productive. I'm going to go have lunch now because I'm absolutely starving. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought. What was your favourite piece? If you're going to pick any pieces up, let me know. I'd love to see them on you. Um, any pieces that you've seen that you think I might like. Thanks for this lovely follower. I picked this little number up. Um, yeah, all black, of course. Um, let me know if you wanted to see any kind of hair video on how I've grown my hair, how I look after it and how I've been styling it. Um, that was just an idea I'd had because I've been watching so many of uh, other people's videos. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. There's now, is it nearly 250 of you? I'd love to get to 300. I'd love to get to... 500. Let's go for 500. Let's double our numbers. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you are into black, by the way, I'm really bad at not kind of promoting my book. If you love wearing black um, or if you're just into fashion or into fashion illustration, I have a book called All Black Everything. It's a fashion illustration book based on wearing black. Um, and yeah, it's available from my website, which I will link below. That's a little bit of self-promotion there and I feel awkward so I'm going to go have a lovely weekend because it's Friday. I think we're going to get a takeaway tonight. I've been really good. We've not been having takeaways, but I'm just craving a Domino's pizza and gin. Oh, yes. I'm excited. Uh, anyway. Oh, follow me on Instagram, Sally underscore Faye. I'm just going to plug everything now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's everything. Have a lovely weekend, guys. I will see you all soon. Leave some comments for me below and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for the third, fourth, fifth time. Bye guys.